because this is a historic district. This was the destination where all of the millionaires chose to build their beautiful mansions. This is not one of them. <laughs> But we will talk about how significant this house was, and it's a very beautifully uh, built, uh, elegantly built home, and you may see, but more modest than a mansion for sure. Why Capitol Hill? Because the nation, the state capital is right there, literally steps away. And if you were a banker, rancher, or a um, miner, and you made your millions that way, you might want access to the political process. Well, there's the political process right there. The building opened for business 1894. The Cathedral Basilica, the Immaculate Conception, Logan and Colfax, uh, consecrated 1912. Both grounds contributed to its construction. Um, Margaret would worship there in pew number six. You might want to keep the number six in mind as we go through the tour. Uh, 1912, 1894. 1889, this home was built for a silver baron family, the family of Isaac and Mary Large, built by a very prominent, important, self-taught Denver architect by the name of William Lang. It is a Queen Anne style with very significant touches of what was known as Richardsonian Romanesque. And you can see the arches and what we call rusticated stone. These stones are both local, Rhyolite out of Castle Rock. Anybody from Denver? Castle Rock. And if you go down to Castle Rock, that's all you'll see in the historic buildings is rhyolite. Uh, sandstone comes out of Manitou Springs. So this is all local. Uh, when William Lyne built this house, he built another house just to the north where that condominium stands today. Both houses face west, which is very significant here in Denver because when you face west in Denver, Oh, yes. Mountains. 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 It makes a very beautiful, very dramatic panorama and view and is very valuable to this day if it's unobstructed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such is urban life. Uh, with the advent of urban renewal, that house was demolished in 1969. This house was threatened with demolition too, but the owner was very aware of its history. He uh, teamed up with a group of rather active preservationists that went on to form themselves as historic Denver. They purchased the house at the end of 1970 for about $80,000, at which point um, it became our museum. It went into renovation and restoration immediately. So we're very lucky to have it. Now we do have some rules. I'm going to ask you, please do not put your tickets away. All the rules that we have, and we very respectfully ask you to observe them, please. 